money, secrets, and sex abuse scandals, state officials cut all ties with the infamous financier and part-time New Mexican Jeffrey Epstein. News 13 investigative reporter Gabrielle Burkhart looked into what could become of his New Mexico mansion, and what she uncovered is bizarre. It is a remote property. It's very obvious that this was a cover-up. For years, this place was shrouded in secrecy. This is a lease that goes back decades. The billionaire behind the sprawling Zorro Ranch south of Santa Fe is gone. Only Jeffrey Epstein and his accusers know the dark details of what went on here near Stanley, New Mexico. Records show Epstein and the Zorro Trust bought the ranch from the Gary King family, then built his 33,000-square-foot mansion there in the 90s. And since 1993, the Epstein Trust had state lease agreements for grazing cattle on public lands near his mansion. And to your knowledge, what was that land being used for? One can only speculate, and, and I have to tell you, Gabrielle, my staff, you know, this, is, this has been uh, a difficult topic for us to tackle. Thinking about what state land might have been used for has been difficult. State Land Commissioner Stephanie Garcia Richard took office in 2019. That year, with the Zorro Ranch and Sarkisin. She canceled a decades long lease agreement the state had with Epstein for nearly 1,300 acres of grazing land. We want to encourage uh, a ranching family to use it. We want to encourage rec access to the area. We've even uh, talked about uh, some type of memorial site to just recognize what folks went through, what young girls and women went through in this area and on state land. Yeah. But as Garcia Richard explains, there's still a problem. It's the inaccessible, landlocked state land. This map shows the two properties in blue canceled in the lease agreements. Garcia Richard says this section is landlocked. The surrounding private property owner, she says, refuses to grant access. My staff and I went out to do a field visit to access the exact acreage you were talking about and were denied access by the by the private landowner. Nearly 7,600 acres of private property surrounds the state's land. That's a pretty big ranch. We requested records in Santa Fe County to verify how much land the Epstein estate still owns. And what we uncovered is bizarre. A deed filed with Santa Fe County in October 2020, transferring the Zorro Ranch from Epstein's company Cypress Inc. to Love and Bliss, a nonprofit church, for $200. So why would the Epstein estate sign over this land to a Florida church for just $200? We dug deeper to find out. The listed address for Love and Bliss Church is a small home in Reddington Beach, Florida. Founded in 2018, the Christian nonprofit's listed president is 22-year-old Alexander Lisinski. Florida records show he was arrested in 2017 for stalking and again in March for battery. The Love and Bliss deed, stamped with a notary and Epstein's signature, states the document was created in April of 2019. My name is Gabrielle Burkhardt. I'm a reporter in Albuquerque, New Mexico. A Florida address for the attorney listed on the deed instead turns up as a realty office on Google. How long have you guys had this phone number? And the New York phone number on the deed sent us to a Jack DeWitt food broker office who says they've had the same number for 60 years. Maybe even more so than years. Finally, I have in front of me a warranty deed. We reached a representative from the Epstein estate that shows a portion of the Zorro Ranch in Stanley, New Mexico was deeded over from Cypress Inc to a love and bliss church based out of Florida. It's the same people that filed the fraudulent warranty deed in Florida. It turns out love and bliss filed a fake deed in Florida for Epstein's Palm Beach mansion, hindering the estate's push to sell the property. Court documents show a Florida judge found the deed there invalid and unenforceable. In violation of the court's final judgment, a second fraudulent deed was filed under the name Hung Shung Lee. Love and Bliss was directed to cease and desist. They don't have any claim on this property either. Here's First Judicial District Attorney Mary Carmack Altweez. There is absolutely recourse for filing a fraudulent deed. 
She explains deeds are filed with the county clerk's office, but it's not the clerk's job to verify if the document is real. That was really supposed to be the notary's job. What would be the motivation of somebody filing a fraudulent deed? Well, they think that they can get in and maybe then start selling off pieces and portions of it and get away with it. And then it would just perpetuate the fraud because new innocent owners would come in, give these people money, and then um, be part of the scheme and not actually own that. So I think it's great that you caught it because you hopefully you've stopped it in its tracks. The Epstein estate says it's preparing the Zorro Ranch for sale. They'll take court action to clear the fake deed and funds will go toward the victim compensation program. And unfortunately, those cases were swept under the rug. New Mexico Attorney General Hector Baldetta says Epstein was able to hide out here. Over the years, women came out accusing the New York-based investor of sexually abusing them at his New Mexico ranch. In 2008, Epstein pled guilty in Florida for soliciting a minor for prostitution, but he never faced charges in New Mexico. By the time I inherited the case, uh, you're talking about uh, generations of time had passed. And I think that was part of the illicit cover-up of a very powerful individual. The convicted sex offender died in jail in 2019, awaiting trial on sex trafficking charges. His death ruled a suicide. As for his New Mexico mansion and canceled state lease, the feds are in the best position to seize those assets. If New Mexico had proper access to this grazing land, what would you be able to do with it? Ultimately, we would like to see the land returned to New Mexicans. Gabrielle Burkhardt, KRQE Investigates. We tried contacting the Love and Bliss founder to get his side of the story. We were unable to reach him. The district attorney in Santa Fe says the Epstein estate could pursue criminal charges against Love and Bliss for that fake deed since it appears fraud and forgery were involved.